Let's get right into the first app. Most text messages that we get today are junk, but there are still some messages in that that are important. That's where Kite comes into picture. It's like an AI based text messaging app that segregates your messages into important, personal and spam. So spam is basically where all of your junk messages go, but all your important messages come into this first tab. Important messages can be further classified into bookings, you make uh, financial transactions that happen and if at all there are some coupons. Of course, there are personal SMSs in this too, but that can be accessed from the personal tab. And even within booking or financial transaction messages, you can filter those down. That's pretty amazing. So let's say that I want to see transactions from a specific bank um, that are all credit based transactions within, let's say, you know, a specific period. I can just do that and press OK and apply and only those messages would be seen. Now you do get all of this for free with the app, but for less than dollar and a half or a simple WhatsApp status that you put advertising this app, you could unlock the doc theme and you could unlock some chat themes as well within the app. It also gives you some more features like you could set up a passbook lock as well. And before we move on to the second app, it would be really great if you could support my channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell icon so you never miss a video from me. The next app is called Famisafe and it's an all-in-one parental control app for complete tracking and monitoring of their kids' smartphone activity. The most important one being, you know, real-time location tracking so parents always know their kids' whereabouts and it also provides a history of the same so you can see if they've been to any unusual place as well. Of course, I've only been in one spot and I've just activated it but I think it's a pretty neat feature and <laughs> you can ensure your kid never gets lost. And you can also place a geofence rule so if they enter or exit a specific place, you can get a notification on your phone which I think is again very useful and a great way to ensure that your kids are always safe and within the perimeter that you want them to be in. You can also set the time for which they can use the screen and you could immediately block the device as well if that's what you really need to. Uh, again, just another way of keeping control of how kids are getting addicted to smartphones these days. You can also block uh, app usage, specific apps. You can check for browser history and ensure nothing, uh, you know, uh, suspicious is being done. All in all, I think Famisafe is an excellent app for parents if they want to keep their kids safe and secure and at the same time monitor activity so they don't get addicted to smartphones. The next one is called Otter Voice Notes and it's pretty good. So here's why. Let me just hit that record button and speak something. So a big reason I have never taken voice notes is because they've not been as useful. But this app changes that big time. Every time a thought comes to me or something that I want taken down, I would just fire up the app and hit record. The app starts transcripting audio real time. It recognizes you and you could have multiple speakers and the app would know it's a new person each time and accordingly create timestamps as well. You see how it transcribes all of that real time? And you can now just save this recording with a specific name. Uh, you could share it with people within the app or you could share it with people outside the app by just tapping share link. It'll give you a link and you can copy paste it anywhere you want. Additionally, you could also export your recording as plain audio file, a plain text file, in fact, you could also export a subtitle file or as a PDF file with all of these things checked or unchecked depending on how you want them. And just imagine all of these voice notes are searchable by text. So you might have said a word or someone else might have said a word and you can search for that word in that audio note and it'll give you that right up front. Now the free plan allows you for 600 minutes of recording and it gets reset every month. If you want more, you'd have to pay a monthly or an annual subscription. So whether it's a lecture in a class, an important review meeting or just any thought in your head that you want to later talk about or just write about, record it and have it all transcripted into text for free. The fourth app in the list is Dark Sky. It's the most accurate source of hyperlocal weather information. So with down to the minute forecast, you'll know exactly when the rain will start or stop right where you're standing. It's obviously free to download and includes a full 24 hour forecast, a detailed seven day forecast, current conditions, you can add multiple locations, you could view historical data and you could see beautiful weather maps. Now, if you get the premium version, you can also set up the app for rain notifications, severe weather alerts and custom alerts to keep you on top of 
you know, the ever-changing weather conditions without even opening the app. The premium version will also give you access to widgets that you can then place on the home screen. The last app in the list is Yumly and it's a food app. I'm not a foodie, but when I saw this app, I actually wanted to eat something and more than that, try something new, which is really not me. Now the app is a library to over 2 million recipes. That's insane. The app does have various ways in which, you know, it will guide you to uh, go on with the recipe. So there are some that have videos. So they essentially, you know, take you step by step in a video. You could see it, you could make it, it's all, you know, together. The other one is where they're just instructions and it's, it's like a step by step guide. There's no video, but they're just cards and you go one by one, one to the next and see how it's done. But what's really unique about the app is that it takes care of your dietary requirement and preferences. So if you don't like something or if you're allergic to something, just check those, let the app know and the app would refresh all of its content and only show you stuff that's, you know, removing all of those things. So you would never see things that you've mentioned as exceptions be a part of the recipes that it shows you, which I think is phenomenal. On the homepage, uh, there's a list of trending and popular dishes on your feed, which you could just tap and you could see how to make it. You could also look at the ingredients that would be required to prepare something. And you can simply in just one tap, add all of that into a shopping list within the app. And I think that's really smart. I don't have to write anything elsewhere. It's just all of them. It's just right there. And it also categorizes things in categories. So, you know, when you're going out shopping, you could just, you know, shop all of them in one go. And the app also takes care of my mood. So, you know, uh, I could just go into explore and let's say, you know, because I'm a vegetarian, so I would just dive into vegetarian and then uh, I'll see all the vegetarian options that are there. You could also go by the meal course. So whether you're looking for something that's, you know, just a main dish or a dessert or a salad, you know, so you could just tap into it and then you could scroll through thousands of recipes uh, that guide you on how to make them, what ingredients are required and they're all considering your uh, preferences and special requirement. So guys, those were the top five apps for the month of January 2019. See you in the next one.